Back to the morning show. It's coming up on uh, 649 this Wednesday morning. That means it's wise guy time. Our resident uh, wise guy, Matt Sellen, is in. And you have some jello with you. This is going to be interesting, Max. Well, you know, I had to try to think of something that was fun mm -hmm. and that sort of went with Thanksgiving. And the thing that I love about Thanksgiving is the food. Well, of course. But the thing I'm never too partial on is the the lime jello, gotta yeah. tell you. It's kind of yeah. ugh. Yeah. And so I thought, okay, what would be more fun than exploding a vat of lime jello? So, exploding too? Well, yes. Yeah, so here, here is a, a vat of lime jello. It is two and a half gallons. I was a little worried about this actually because I, I mixed it all up yesterday. And by the time I went to bed, it was still really oh, runny because it, it takes a while. Yeah. But uh, it was just doing fine this morning. So we're going to deal with that in a, in a most harsh way when we come back, right? Okay. But I thought, okay, we have to do a little bit of science before we have the fun part, okay? Right. And so I thought we're going to talk about jello, okay? Okay, and what jello is. And so it's, uh, it's actually not too different from the slime that we made mm -hmm. in, in a sense a couple of weeks ago because what jello is is made up of a, uh, a protein called collagen. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Mm. Jello for uh, breakfast? It's a mixed orange and peach. Anyways, and so this collagen is, is in our bodies. It's about a third of all the proteins in, in our bodies and presumably of cows and pigs and things as well. Okay. And the way you get this stuff out is that you sort of grind up cow bones and skin and all that kind of yeah. connective stuff. Anything that gives an animal shape is probably collagen. Okay. Okay, and these molecules are interesting because they're long and skinny. And remember when we made that slime a few weeks ago, I said the molecules were long and skinny. Right. We mixed them with the water. That was the glue stuff. We mixed it with the water. We put a little of this borax stuff in it. And right. the borax kind of welded those long, skinny molecules together and it trapped the water inside. This collagen stuff is pretty much the same way. These are long, skinny molecules. They're just kind of held together by very weak bonds. And uh, when you heat them up, like putting boiling water on them, right. you know, the powder that you get in the jello container, sure. boiling water, all those little molecules come apart then just because of the, the agitation of the hot water mm -hmm. sort of separates them. Then you put the cool water in and you let it cool. And then they sort of just slowly kind of stick back together again, but all the water's in between. So you end up with a mesh that's got a lot of water trapped in it, but it's still this long, skinny molecule kind of making this mesh. Okay. And it's got this interesting jiggliness to it. And I realized there was something cool you can do with this. Okay. That's why I brought the laser. So you can actually demonstrate if you're a teacher or if you're just a kid and you have a laser pointer, you okay. want to understand how lenses work, okay. you can make a lens out of jello. Really? Yeah. What okay. kind of rose colored glasses? You have jello? Yeah, glasses. not. Uh, I, you know, you can probably find a better color than this. This is all I could find. But By the way, they thought I was pretty crazy. My friends at the IGA, when I was buying, you know, 14 containers of jello <laughs> yesterday, they go, boy, you must be hungry. Green? Ooh. I go, no, no, I'm going to blow it up. They go, what? <laughs> okay, so, oops. Okay, I'm going to hold this in the laser beam. Uh -huh. Okay, and you'll actually be able to see the laser beam inside the jello. Okay, right. so the cool thing is you can actually see the path of the laser. And, and it doesn't have to be a big honking laser like this. It can right. be just a point. It's just all I could find. Okay. But you can cut this into a shape of a lens if you like, and you can sort of see how the thing bends light. So I'm going to make this sort of a, a prism shape. Got it. <laughs> You're working well with Jello. Oh my goodness! I Bill love Cosby this stuff. Would be proud of you, Matt. So. Oh, yeah. Well, he's more of a pudding man, isn't he? Yeah. So you can sort of see now that you can bend it. It's sort of bending up oh, a little yeah. bit. Okay. Oh, we got All that. right, because you have a curved surface, and so that's a whole other show, by the way. Wow. And we're going to talk about the bending of light and and making lenses and stuff like that. So what we're going to do when we come back? Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to eat some of this. It's well, really good. Yeah. But. Um, I have also brought some liquid nitrogen with me, and okay. we have that thing where we, we put a little bottle uh, that's emptied out, and we right. put some liquid nitrogen in it. What I'm going to do, and I've never done this before, I've never even practiced this, so oh, it could great. be a little dangerous. That's what we love to hear. I have to figure out how to get that bottle underneath this big thing of green jello. So I'm imagining what we're going to do. So I'm going to put my hand in there and scoop this up like, Make some room. like you know, you can pretend it's Halloween brains or something, and we're yeah. going to just sort of slide the thing in there, put this down, and then run for cover. Well, I wore my green shirt today, just in case we got stuff I think that's a wise choice. So, yes. Right. Well, we'll get some aprons on and we'll put mm -hmm. we'll some jello in about 20 minutes, yep. 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. All right, Matt, thanks for coming in this morning. We appreciate that. If you want to see a replay of this segment or, you know, call Matt and get his recipe for jello, I'm sure he'd give it to you. Go to our website, illinoishomepage.com.